See that light? Yeah. Where is that coming from? Off, it's guess, coming off that one. Can you turn it. that one off and see yeah. what happens? Or it might be the one. Oh. I just think, I, I don't know. It's either that see or it's coming off the... No. Uh, no, it, it makes it a little better. Maybe here. this guy right here. Yep. Then it's going to make it very dark. There we go. That's All right, so if you sit down, if you sit down on that... Um, All right, we're going to let the audience build. Harlan and I have some really important questions for you. So we're going to try to read your comments, and we're going to ask you to send us, um, we're going to ask you to go to DennisMichaelLynch.com, submit news button, and give us your comments. It's so important, the stuff we're going to ask you, okay? So what do we got? We got uh, right now 1,800 people on. Okay, here is the question, all right? Well, we just dropped down to 1,300. Har now we're down to a thousand. See how that works? I know it always goes why out. Is comes down. Why, why is that? I don't know. Why is that? Would people have jumped off that quick? I don't. I don't believe it. I don't believe it either. No. Or they get spinning, or they get cut off, or Maybe. something like that. Yeah. Okay. There's two things we need from you. Number one, see when we started this video, we had 1,800 live viewers right away, and that dropped down within seconds to a thousand. So what we'd like you to do, if you don't mind is go to DennisMichaelLynch.com when you're done with this. It's going to be a short video. When you're done with this, go there and please just take two minutes or three minutes in the most detailed possible way you can and tell us if Facebook ever does that to you where like you come on, you see us live, and then they dump you off. We're trying to figure out how we get around this. So it's very important because we continue to get from people that you can't find us and that you're not, we're not showing up in your feed. And we're trying to understand how it is that we could go from having 2,000 people two seconds ago to 1,300. We haven't even said anything yet. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, and maybe just as important, if not more important, is that Harlan and I here are, we're, we're talking about how it is we're going to try to change some of the stuff up. And one of the things that Harlan said, which I agree with him wholeheartedly, is that we've got two shows, right? We've got The Truth and we've got The Walk and Talk. And what we've done with the walk and talk, and we think we want to keep with this, this sort of thing, is every day we have a really good guest, right? And that guest is on with us for about 40 to 45 minutes. The other 15 minutes, Harlan and I usually are talking about the news. We're going back and forth with each other. Today we took phone calls from people. So we want it to be an hour show. We want it to be entertaining. We want it to be fun. We don't want it to be stuffy, all right? So we have that, and then the truth. The truth is at nighttime. Right now we're doing 8.30. We're thinking about maybe making it a 4.30 show. And instead of doing it taped, we're thinking about doing it live. And that's more newsy, you know? Like today, you've got to watch the truth. We just finished doing it. It's about H-1B visas. And I promise you, you are going to get an education from Harlan and I and with Scarlett that nobody has ever taught you this stuff the way we taught it today. It is a, a powerful show. It lasts a half hour. We were only supposed to go for 15 minutes. Yeah. We went for a half hour. Harlan, Harlan and I, we love each other. Well, not that much. Nah. <laughs> but we, we love each other. But we really, we had it out today. Yeah. He, has one, he has one thought about this. I have another thought about it. And we're arguing about it. And I think you'll really appreciate it. We want to know your insight. However... The bigger thing why we're coming on here is because Harlan and I are trying to figure out how to deliver you the truth and how do you deliver you the walk and talk and make it feel different. Right now, criticizing ourselves yep. is we think it feels too similar. Mm -hmm. You know, we're in the same place, we're sitting at the same spots, we've got the same TVs, whatever it may be. And we don't think we're taking advantage of the opportunity that we have here to not only inform you, but to entertain you and to keep you engaged. So we're thinking about when he comes back from his honeymoon, this kid's going to uh, Italy for the second time in his life. 26 years old, going to Italy. I've never been to Italy once he's going, but he's going for 10 days. He's going to be gone. He's leaving Thursday night, and he won't be returned until May 2nd. So I'll be handling it all by myself for that time frame. But anyway, when he comes back, we're thinking about doing the walk and talk in the kitchen. So we want to bring you in there, and we want to give you some of our, our ideas about it, and then we'll keep the truth in here. So let me tell you, <clears throat> let me show you. Come on, Harlan, let's go. We think it's going to be hysterical. Right? We think it could be where we interview a guest for 45 minutes. We have them come in, right? We interview the guest, but we also do the kitchen here. We do a little cooking. We do a lot of fun. I mean, this kitchen is sensational. Don't mind the boxes because we keep on getting delivery from you folks. We keep on building the stuff out. But I mean, this kitchen, yeah, let me show this thing. Okay? Yeah. Somebody made this. Somebody drew this for me. See the DML Daily Walk and Talk? We have it up there. No, yeah. But I mean, this kitchen's awesome, you know? And right now, what we do in this kitchen is we, we Tim's control center here. Tim's Control Center, 
which looks into there, is here in the kitchen. We're talking about moving it out. So what we would do, right, is we'd move it out of here and we put it into the corner, in the corner of this room, right? So that would be where he's controlling the whole thing. And this room would be just purely for the truth. That's it, just the news program. And then as far as the walk and talk, we would come back in here, set up the whole kitchen, beautiful kitchen table. We bring in this big TV. See this big TV right there? That big TV is where we have the interviews with people and we bring it in and we put it right over here in the corner. Harlan and I would be at the counter. Maybe I'd be cooking for him. You know how to cook? I, yeah, I, I know how to cook. I'll cook for you. Kick, kick. What do you like? What kind of food do you like? Kick, kick. What kind of food do I like? What do you tell me? Look at my stomach. What do you think I like? I like stuff that's fattening. You know, stuff that's like fattening. But anyway, so we're thinking about doing that. So do us a favor, please. You know, we, we keep it serious. We keep it fun, right? We keep in the walk and talk fun. But we do it in here. Maybe sometimes I cook. Sometimes he cooks. Maybe we'll bring in somebody to cook for us. Ooh, I like that. Right? A special guest coming to cook for us. And then we turn focus, we put the big TV over there, and then we interview, you know, like somebody, we had Dick Morris the other day, we had that Syrian refugee yesterday, tomorrow we're interviewing a guy named Don Rosenberg, uh, his son was killed by an illegal alien, but you know, we'd have the big television over there, and we would, we would sit here from the counter and we'd interview him. What do you think about these ideas? This is what we want to know, so please, we're begging you, please, go right now to DennisMichaelLynch.com, hit the sub Submit News button, and tell us what you think about these specific ideas. Keeping the truth in there, right, and keeping that show to a half hour where it's very, you know, we're giving you news, we're giving you information, not even so much news. Yeah. I, I shouldn't say that. Like today, we based the H-1B visa, uh, President Trump today signed an executive order uh, about H-1B visas. So, yeah, that's news, and we gave that to you, but we spent the other 27 minutes explaining the impact of H-1B visas, why it is what it is. Uh, like I said, he and I argued about it for, for, for quite some time. We, gave, we both gave stats. We both gave good arguments. And so we want that to be more of a talk show where you're learning something versus being like you know a news show like a Hannity or an O'Reilly with his six segments and kind of – we don't want to tell you the same thing they're telling you. you know? and, and we don't think we can compete against them. They're going to have better graphics or whatever. We think we can out-talk them with more interesting stuff. So that's the way we want to come about it. But the walk and talk gives you news. And then it brings in a great guest where we do the show with that, you know, what we do with that. So we want to build off that. Is that a good idea? Is that a bad idea? You tell us, okay? So you're going to tell us two things. Remember, number one is you're letting us know whether or not Facebook ever cuts you out of our feed. And, you know, are they unliking our page on their own? Tell us your stories with that. And then number two, do you like our idea of making the walk and talk here every day at 1130 in the kitchen? with the interview that we would be having with somebody for a half hour, 45 minutes, and then going into another live show later on, maybe at like 4.30 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't said that yet. But 4 o'clock or 4.30 in the afternoon, live. Do the truth, the live show, the truth. And then if you want to watch it again later on, obviously you can watch it however you want. Please, DennisMichaelLynch.com, the Submit News. Tell us what you think. Harlan, say something to these folks. I'll be wearing my uniform tomorrow, just like Dennis. Yeah, see, I went out and I bought uniforms. Yeah. Right? And Harlan doesn't wear his uniform. I'm going to wear it And Miss Mary's going nuts. <laughs> Miss Mary's like, wait a second, we just spent all that money on uniforms, on DML, we have DML daily, all this stuff. And Mary's like, tell him, Tomorrow. tell him to put that on. <laughs> yeah. You guys want to see my changing room? Come on, change my changing room. I don't know. I'll let you go. All right, you let me go? So I'll tell you what I do. So I have a little changing room, right? So changing room. Here's my changing room. So, you know, because we have these two different, I tell him, I said, you know, Harlan, you want to change things up? You want people to be interested? You know, you got to wear different clothes. So he wears the same clothes on the walk and talk as he does on the truth. I change my clothes. Here's what I do, right? I go into here. This room is mine. Nobody goes in here. You know, this is DML's room. You can see DML's got his brush. Look, you right? a hairbrush, yeah? Right? Hairbrush. Now yeah, I got my hairbrush. Right? I got my Tylenol because Harlan gives me headaches all day long with his Democrat liberal stuff. I got Kleenex in case anybody cries. Nobody's cried yet. You know what else we have? Mary buys me all this stuff. We've got disinfecting wipes, you know, in case somebody's infecting us. I don't understand what that is. I've got, of course, my toothbrush and toothbrush. Got to always, you know, keep the teeth white. And of course, we've got that. So this is my room. One of these days, I'm gonna take the beds. Mary bought beds. I'll show you that too. And I'm sorry, this is my little room. Now, with this big, huge mansion, you'd wonder why I'm gonna take this little room. I don't know, humble guy. You know what I mean? So I come into here, and this is my changing room. See? So I have is. 
I put my stuff, I got my blue pants here, and I got my other little The Truth sweater here. And you could see earlier in today, I had my clothes here. And so I'll take this sweater and I'll put it up. And every day I keep bringing stuff in. And then at the end of the week, I take it home and I have it washed and that's why it looks empty. But this is usually filled up with the stuff I took from home. So this is, this is my changing room. Yeah, with all these doors in here, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we do. So this way, we just wanted to show you what it's like, you know, a little different. You know? We want to also show you the pond. The pond's getting really nice. Let's see if uh, we got Bill Clinton. And uh, if you, those of you who've been with me doing this before, you know that we have two geese and the two geese poop all over the lawn. And so I named them Bill and Hillary. And so, oh, there they are, Bill and Hillary. They're there, check them out. You ready? Check it out. Bill and Hillary, there they are, pooping on the lawn. Yep, yep, let's go talk to them. Bill and Hillary. All right, here we go. Bill and Hillary. Oh, 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 look at, look, 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 look at the Democrat. Here he is, look, <laughs> look, the Democrat. All right, Democrat, working hard or hardly working. What are you doing? You should be editing something. Here we go. Now, here's a mystery. Here's a mystery, right? Other than Bill and Hillary, check them out. Yeah. Looks nice out here today, right? Beautiful out here. We have a mystery. We have a mystery going on. And I don't know if it's Harlan. I think it might be Harlan screwing with me. You know, because he knows I'm really big into the whole, you know, security and all sorts of different stuff. So we have run into a problem as of late. One day I came here. And that chair, the Adirondack chairs, now they're both broken. I take you over and I show it to you, right? The Adirondack chairs are broken, and I'll show you. Now, I don't have them. The guy who has the place had them here. So this chair is broken in the sense of like, you know, you could, by sadness right now, I'd fall down. The other thing here, you know, this one, see this one here? It's got a bad leg. Okay, even so, even so, I wanna show you something. See how strong that is? Look at this, watch. I just drop kicked it and it didn't go over. See that, watch. Drop kicked it. Watch. Still didn't go over. The other day I come here and the chair is like this. It's turned over. It's like that, right? And I'm like, how did the chair get like that? Who would do that? I didn't do that. Harlan do that? Or was it Bill and Hillary? You guys pooping? What's going on? Hey, Hillary. Hillary. Hey, Hillary. Yeah. Bill and Hillary doing nothing typical, right? So anyway, so I see this here like this. All right, that's one thing. Next time, there's a golf ball. I don't have any golf balls. You know, I don't have them with me. Yeah, I play golf, but I haven't played golf in a long time. There's a golf ball, right? Laying right there in the middle of the lawn. Harlan's like, Dennis, there's a golf ball in the middle of the lawn. Did you bring it in? I said, no, I didn't. So I got the golf ball there and I got the chair like that. But here's the wacky thing, the wacky thing that happened today. We have a raft, and the raft has been sitting here on the lawn. See the paddles? Now the raft is back there. You see it? See the raft back there? How did the raft get in the water? How did the raft get in the water? That's the question. Here you go. See it back there? Let me see if I can get the raft. Can you see it? I see the raft. You can hear the guy doing the work back there. Now there's the raft. How did that get in there? It hasn't been windy, hasn't been no storms. There's no reason. I'm thinking that either Harlan's screwing with me, right? Or somebody, somebody, somebody is really trying to screw with me. I don't know what it is, but I'll tell you what. If I'm here at night and somebody comes here and tries to screw with me, <laughs> it's gonna be on the cover of Newsday. Oh yeah. Newsday's Long Island paper for those of you who don't know. It's gonna be, a, look at Bill and Hillary. You think it's Bill and Hillary? I bet you it's Bill and Hillary screwing with us. Look how nice it is out here. So one of the things we're gonna do, what I like with the idea with the walk and talk, when we're talking about the kitchen, is also having the walk and talk out here. We're periodically in the morning, we'll do it here. The issue we have is Harlan thinks, hey Harlan! Let's see, let's, let's see the young chippy. Let's see if he's got any ideas, all right? I wanna hear your ideas. <clears throat> okay, first of all, it has come to my attention that it could be you who's screwing with me with all the, the things that are going on. I wish I was that clever. <laughs> I wish I had thought of that. I don't believe him, Mr. Democrat. You voted for Obama twice. <laughs> okay, so aside from the fact that you voted for Obama twice and that's why I can't believe you, question, why can't we have a show out here by the pond? Oh, we can. I got the extra cables to do it. So we got the cables to run the cameras? Yeah. All right. 
So we'll do it when you get back. We can do it tomorrow. We can do it tomorrow? Yeah. It's supposed to be nice? I think so. Walk and talk tomorrow outside? Yeah. How will we do that with Don Rosenberg? Oh, we can't do it. Never mind. Can't do it. It's a day where it's just you and me. Just you I and me? Just here. Huh? If we had somebody come here, we can I guess here. All right, we'll do it when you get back. All right. Oh, this kid. The kid stepped in gold with this job. Kid made stepped in gold, this kid. Nobody ever contacted me and said, hey, uh, hey, listen, you're 26 years old. You want to be a, uh, uh, how would you like to be a consultant and uh, come work at this place? It's fantastic. So he says, and I trust him, I just busted his chops, but I think we're going to be able to have a uh, show here as the weather continues to get nicer. I may have to tell that guy to shut up with that machine. But aside from that, I'm thinking maybe we have a show here. So tell me what you think about that too. You go to DennisMichaelLynch.com, hit the submit news, be like, yeah, the email, I like that. Any ideas you may have or whatever, maybe we're going to need new Adirondack chairs because those are broke. But I still do believe that somebody's screwing with me. And we got the paddles here. So you can see, Hillary's eating my lawn. Hey, listen to me, Hillary. It's time for you to go in the water now. Let's see if I get Hillary to go in the water. You know, Bill's in the water. Paddle. Just in case these geese get crazy sometimes, you know that, right? Hillary, in the water. In the water now, Hillary. Understand? Go. Get away. Unbelievable the amount of power that I have. Yeah. See? Republican Party has no idea. They should be calling me. How I can control these Democrats. Watch this. Bill. Billy. Bill! Bill, go to the other side. Hurry up. Move. Let's go. See? Yep. Yep. Now look at these plants. What are these things? For those of you who are plant enthusiasts. See this thing? What is this? Check this out. Huh? Let me tell you. This thing wasn't here a few days ago. This has grown out of nowhere. See these things? It's taller than me. And I'm six, six foot eight. Maybe not. All right. Look at Bill and Hillary. Oh, what a life. What a life. Where's the Obamas? There's a couple of ducks here. We call them Obama. I don't know where they are. See, now what's happening because it's getting nice out? See all these, like, I don't know what are they called, the leaves and stuff like that? They're starting to grow. Yeah. Anyhow. Anyhow. See, and there's my raft. Somebody put it over there. Yeah. And it makes no sense why it's over there. You see where that is over there? That makes no sense. Because this water doesn't flow that way. If that, if that raft went there, it would have flowed over that way. How would it have gone over there? Somebody's screwing with me. Somebody's definitely screwing with me. Yeah. You know, I tried taking you guys back here one day. I'll try to do it. Let's see if we don't get interrupted. I don't know I remember. I tried to take you back here. It's pretty cool over here. It's almost like this little waterfall section, but I lost internet connection last time. So if I lose internet connection, just please don't forget, go to DennisMichaelLynch.com. Let us know what you want in terms of um, the show. Do you like the idea of having the truth in the main studio and having the... Um, the walk and talk in the kitchen, we're thinking we're gonna go that way. I can't walk and talk around the grounds because unfortunately the internet connection sucks here. But I mean, just take a look, right? It's getting a little bit more uh, murky here. Could be alligators. I think there's alligators in New York. But we got all these cool little bamboos, man. See these bamboos? These things are tough. You know? Cool, cool bamboos. But if you go back here, hopefully I don't lose you. If I lose you, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Actually, no, the truth. Better be watching the truth tonight. Don't watch the truth at 8.30 on DesMichaelLynch.com. I'm going to cry. Oh, see? <coughs> Stuff is growing in fast, man. So this little river stream comes in from down there. I wanted to show that to you. I still will try. Let's see. We're going to land of the lost. Now, if I don't come out of here... Okay, so you'll see the path. See the path? Yeah. It's a dangerous path. I go it alone. Hear the machines? There you go. That machine right there 
powers the pond. Now here's the problem I have. If you look out in the pond, you'll see it has like the little thing there. I don't understand why they didn't make fountains. Now I'm thinking that this thing may shoot off a fountain, but I'd be damned if I knew how to use it. Now here's the cool part. Now I don't know if I'll lose you here or not. Let's keep on hoping on. Let me keep on hoping. If you look over there, you'll see there's a waterfall on the property. See that? Yeah. Check it out. So you got the whole stream down here. You can see it. There you go. And there's the waterfall. Pretty cool stuff, you ask me. You know what I mean? Yep. Now. Yeah. If you ever can't find me, I'm hiding underneath there. Just to let you know. Harlan ever tries to find me. And that's that. Okay. Well, listen. I'm going to wrap this up. Make sure you tune in to the tooth, uh, truth later on. The tooth. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Let me drink more coffee. All right. I think I showed you everything. Where's Bill and Hillary? Ha ha. See? He listened. He's on the other side. I said, Bill, swim to the other side. And he swam to the other side. He's gone. He'll be back soon as I'm gone. Yep. I have that effect on Democrats. They don't like to have me around. Because they just don't like the facts. All right, Bill. Now, if you're going to poop, you poop over there. All right? Democrats there. Conservatives here. Harlan will be over in a minute. Yep. Landscapers are coming on Friday to clean up all this. See what I'm saying? No? It comes with the rent. Rent is clean yard. Then we got this thing. You know, for a potted plant. I don't know. Maybe we'll put like a sign or something like that. Maybe we'll create, create a sign that says walk and talk or something to that extent. You know? Or on air. Something to that level. All right. That's that. Got a pool there too. I don't know if you can see it or not. See the pool back there? It's all covered up. Maybe do a show from the pool. I have to go with my clothes on though. Don't dare show you what this body looks like without it. Say goodbye to Harlan. Yeah, Harlan's up there right there. That's that's the news room slash the editor's room. We've condensed it into one. It's where all the magic happens. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go put the seat back. Let's see whether or not somebody screws around with it. I think it may be one of you people. Well, let me catch you here. Oh. Well, anyway, see Bill and Hillary over there? Yep. That's it. I gotta get that guy to shut that thing up. It's annoying. All right, that's it. But I mean, if you want to see Bill and Hillary, look what they look. Look what they leave behind. Here you go, Bill and Hillary. You ready? Yep. Yep. That's Hillary for you. She's full of, you know what, cock a duty. And here's the ball, Callaway. Callaway, where's the ball? Callaway. Where should we throw the ball? Want to see something? Yours truly had tryouts with the Montreal Expos. And the Chicago White Sox, back when he was a young guy. Yeah. Now, if I had a golf club in my car, which I don't, I would actually try to put it into the canoe. Well, it's actually not a canoe. It's a, it's a rubber raft out there. I'm thinking that I try to hit the rubber raft with the ball. You want to see it? Let's do this. Now, i got to set up the camera somehow, some way, so you can see this. All right. Yeah. Hannity doesn't give you this entertainment. All right, let's see. Check this out. Now, just so this way you know how I'm going to do this. Call me MacGyver. But, ah, uh, you know what? The sun. Am I distracting you guys with this sun? Where's the sun? But if you look right there, see this thing? I'm going to put the phone on there. But then you're going to be looking into the sun. All right, hold on. I'm telling you, I can't move this. I move this chair, man. This thing might come, come apart. Easy. Easy Adirondack. All right, now we're in the shade. Yep. See that? Where are we now? Now, if I point it this way, you shouldn't be hit by the sun. No, you're not. All right, so let's see. We're going to set this up right here. Nice and easy. Let's see. Don't fall. Come on. Ha! It's not working the way I want it to. Hold on. Ah, oh, the things we try to do for you folks. Yeah. All right, wait a second. Can we see that? Let me see if we can see it. Ah! Don't 
don't go away. Wait a second. Oh, gee. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, goodness. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Maybe there's a reason why Hannity doesn't do this stuff. Note to self, email Sean. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can't get... Can you see? I don't know if we can see the, uh, the canoe from there. I got you hanging up now. Let's see. Can we see the canoe? Ah, you can. It's right there. Yep. Tell me of you folks right now, I'm looking. Can you see the canoe? It's not a canoe, Dennis. Why don't you call for what it is? It is a raft. Can you see the raft? Yes or no? Somebody tell me. We appreciate your effort. Thank you, Jennifer. What, you dropped us. I did, Don, but I picked you back up. All right, what happened? Virginia, I dropped the phone. I like your names, Geese, Bill, and Hilly. Somebody, can you? Handy throws a football at the end of his show. Yeah, now I've been on the other side of that football. He never hits his target. All right, where is the, there it is. Can you see it? Tell me if you can see it. You should be able to see it right there. Can you see it? Invest in a clip to hold your phone. Uh, you guys have already sent me like five of them. Is that a clogged fountain in the pond? No, it's just, I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't see the canoe. You don't see the canoe. No, it's right there. You see it? It's right there at the end. Yes, I see a raft. Yes, well, I was calling it a canoe. Ah. All right, so here's the task. We're gonna take this golf ball with a Callaway logo, probably made in China. And it is a, a practice ball, it says. Uh, I didn't practice with it, but we are going to attempt to put the ball in the raft, okay? So, I would say that's gotta be, ah! Gotta say it's about 70 yards away, right? 70 yards, would you say 70 yards? Yours truly, gonna put the ball on the raft. Now, odds are, this isn't gonna work well. I'm gonna look silly, but it's a beautiful day. Life is short, and we can't everything. Everything can't be about what H1B visas. Let's see what we can do. Size it up for you. Got my DML sweater on. As you can see, I got my sweatpants on. The outfit really doesn't match much. Miss Mary is watching. She'll be like, "You're a nut." Yep. Okay, here we go. Ball. Raft. Your buddy DML. Now I'm thinking with the wind, because there is wind, right? We'll check out the wind. The wind is blowing that way. It's going that way. So what I could do is twofold. I could either try to throw it into the wind, or I could go with the wind. In this particular case, I think I'm going to go with the wind. Had I a golf club right now, and sitting here, I would actually go into the wind to try to hook it in, but not on this one. Okay, here we go. Ready? On three, you will see my body throw. I will try to get out of the way so we can see. Here we go. One, two, three. I did not hit the raft. Note to self, get into shape. Pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. Oh my goodness, did you see that? It was terrible. When I watch on the replay, I'm gonna be so upset. I need something else to throw. Redeem myself. Maybe I'll get Harlan, I'll throw him. Oh, I gotta get something. Oh, it's gotta be something I can throw. Ah. Oh. Oh, give me a second. I found the rock. I'm gonna try the rock, all right? No, I'm not a lefty. What happens with Facebook Live is um, they swap things. 
they make it look so right now it doesn't say DML, it says LMD backwards and upside down because that's what Mark Zuckerberg does. He takes everything and he turns it upside down. Throw Holland into the water. Throw Holland and Tim into the water. All right, anyway, they're probably upstairs watching this crap. All right, so we're gonna try to hit the rock into the raft simply because I cannot take the two hour ride home knowing that I failed miserably. How about we do something crazy? How about How about we use the paddle to hit the ball into the raft? What do you think? Toss up the, it's not a ball, it's a rock. What do you think? Can you see it here? Yeah. DML, nice swing, thanks. All right, let's see what we got. We'll toss up the rock. All right, you ready? Here it comes, big moment. If I miss this, Facebook Live's over. If I hit it, I'm gonna talk to you about it for the next 20 minutes. Maybe the next 20 years. All right, here we go. As you'll notice, this is a bit bent. It's gonna make it a little bit harder. You know? Somebody bent my pole here. All right. Or, if I wanted to be more sure of myself, I could just put the rock on here and do something like lacrosse. No, lacrosse is for guys who couldn't hit a baseball. You understand? Lacrosse is for guys who couldn't hit a baseball. All right? Baseball, hitting a baseball is the hardest thing to do in sports. Lacrosse is for guys and gals who couldn't hit a baseball. Okay. Woo! You may have heard the uh, machine back there ended. Maybe they were all watching. Here we go. Did you see that? How did I? Where did my rock go? Ah! Damn. I'm gonna get one more rock. Let me explain the problem. See this? This, as I swung it, stopped because of the wind. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it off. Yeah, I can't have anything slow down my swing. Mom, if you're watching, I still got it with the baseball thing, don't worry. All right, here we go. So, for anybody who wants to buy this on eBay, maybe I'll sign it. Be worth about as much before I signed it. Okay, so, here's a stick. Now I got a real stick. Now I can swing. Ooh. Oh, feeling good. <laughs> yeah. Thinking about going to play for the Yankees. All right, here we go. He's in frame. In frame. In back, maybe. Oh. Rocket stick. This is how they came up with the word stickball. For those of you who are my age or older, remember stickball? They don't play stickball anymore. Ask Harlan what stickball is. He'd be like, what's stickball? Right. Here we go. Bat's too small. I'm gonna go single-handed. One hand. Do me a favor, for the sake of allowing me to go home and be miserable about the fact that I've failed myself. We're just gonna pretend as if I hit the raft. I'll tell Harlan, hold on. That was an unbelievable shot. You guys saw that, right? You guys saw that, right in the raft. Let me tell Harlan. Harlan, did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, ha. all these people here are gonna give you smiles. I took the the the, uh, the uh, handle yeah. to the to the oar, 
took a rock, hit the rock, and it landed inside the raft. What? Yeah. One go? Your first shot? One shot. I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe it. Voted for Obama twice. <laughs> Never voted for Obama. Do you even know what stickball is? Yeah, of course. Yeah? Did you play stickball when you were a kid? I played, well, I played T-ball. T-ball. <laughs> he didn't play stickball. I told you. Yeah, I told you. You can't believe a kid who's never played stickball in his life. That's what I'm telling you. The culture. Everything's gone in the wrong direction. You know what I mean? It's all gone in the wrong direction. Who, who doesn't teach their kids? I, I got to the, I gotta talk to Mr. and Mrs. Hill. I'm sure they're lovely people. But, I mean, come on. I'll tell you what. Let's sit down in this, this, this bad old chair. And let's, let's talk about the fact about how we all... We all want to live our relive our glory days, you know. We all want to live our relive our glory. Why? Why? Why do we all want to live relive the glory days? I'll tell you why. This chair is all screwed up. It's on a it's on a tilt. Can you feel the tilt? I'm trying to lean to the right so I don't fall off this chair. But um, yeah, we're always looking to relive our glory days, us guys. I don't know what it is. Yeah. If my wife was here, she'd say, "Why don't you uh, try to relive your?" Uh, glory days by putting back on your 32 inch pants which I can't do anyway so all right don't forget please the purpose of this entire Facebook live was not to watch me make um, a hero of myself by putting the rock into the raft 70 yards away you guys saw me do it you saw me do it I put it in there I put it in the raft you saw me do it all right yeah well the point was for you to go to DennisMichaelLynch.com please and hit the submit news button and tell us if you would like us to do the walk and talk from the kitchen and uh, if you'd like us to do the truth from the main studio room. We're trying to figure things out here and obviously, um, you know, uh, it's very confusing for us because we're distracted by the raft. I'm not going to be able to go home until I put something in the raft because I must be truthful. I barely even hit the rock. All right, so I'm going to sit here for a couple seconds and uh, look at Bill and Hillary across the way. I'll let you see them one more time before I go. There you go. They're over there somewhere. I don't know if they got the camera right or not. But you can see the yellow flowers are coming up. That looks lovely, doesn't it not? Yeah. One of these days, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow's nice. I don't know if tomorrow's going to be nice, though. <clears throat> one of these days, I'm going to do a walk and talk. Or I'll do one of these Facebook Lives from the raft. I would do it now. But uh, as you saw in my changing room, I don't really have a whole lot of things to change into. God forbid I get wet. So anyhow, I'm going to take off now. And uh, I need some Adirondack chairs. We'll, we'll get some. We still have some donation money left. We get some Adirondack chairs. All right. The truth at 8.30 tonight about H-1B visas and the devastation it is taking on this country. And Harlan and I actually get into a little bit of an argument. And uh, it's a good one. He says, and I'm not going to get into his argument for it. Uh, you got to watch. And you can see you're surely getting a little aggravated during the argument. He says that America needs these people. Because, or at least some of them, not all of them, because, uh, you know, they're bringing over skills that we don't have here. You know, DML doesn't like that message. DM, DML loves Harlan, but not that message. And I said, no, Harlan, America doesn't say it can't do anything. All right. We're failing our kids. Our kids can do this stuff. We're not giving them the opportunity. Yeah. So and that's why Harlan is not going to run for president one day. Uh, it's not easy getting out of these chairs when you're getting older, you know what I mean? Especially on a tilt. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think you've had enough of me. I know I've had enough of me. So Harlan's putting together right now the truth for tonight. To put that up for you. And I am going to go get my bag. And I'm going to leave. And I'm going to go home. I'm going to leave early. And leave him here working. And why would you do that, DML? <laughs> I don't know. Benefits of being uh, two years away from 50 and being the boss? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Truth of the matter is, is that this kid gets to go home. And then at 8.30, I got to be on and making sure all this stuff works. And I'll be working till 12, answering your emails, 
and everything else. Harlan, I'm going home. What O'Reilly story? Uh, I better not say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did he did he did he uh, did he do wrong to somebody else? Yeah. He did. Who this time? And it's got a race component too. Race component to it. Yeah. I'm not saying anything else. No. <laughs> it's getting worse. I mean, Grudge just tweeted out like a. Then he thinks it's over. It's over for O'Reilly. That's what. I think they should put you and I in the O'Reilly slot. There you go. Maybe tomorrow I'll give you the, uh, the email address to the guy at Fox that you send that to. Be like, we want Dennis Michael Lynch and Harlan to take over O'Reilly's spot. You know, somebody actually sent me an email to that the other day on the, uh, on the DML Answers Your Three. Sorry, yeah. yeah, somebody said that if, uh, if they gave... They didn't mention you, Harlan. Right. Sorry. But they said that if they gave me the uh, O'Reilly slot that I think it was a guy he said that he thought Fox would have their highest ratings of all time right. I'm, I'm going to agree I'm going to agree absolutely give me that 9 o'clock uh, 8 o'clock slot yep yeah no way um, we're here we're here in the kitchen yeah you know O'Reilly have I tell you this story about O'Reilly O'Reilly wasn't very nice to me I've been on O'Reilly's show three times and uh Last time I was on a show, we were talking about immigration. And I had They Come to America 3 out, and I brought my DVDs. And uh, he was kind of making a silly of himself, saying stuff about things that he didn't know about. And uh, I was sort of trying to be as kind as I could, telling him that he was clueless. And I really shut him down. But I shut him down as politely as you could shut somebody down without being rude. And so I said to him at the end, I said, hey, you know what? Seriously, all the stuff that I just told you is right here in this DVD. You know, it, you know, it's yours, Bill. Here, take it. I gave him the DVD. So when the um, segment was over and the cameras went off and went to commercial, he took the DVD and tossed it back at me and said, here, take this. Well, Bill, that's why I know what I'm talking about. and You don't. Anyway, so that's that. Until tomorrow. Until tonight. 8.30, the truth. Adios. I'm going to be now driving home in two hours of traffic. See you later. All right. All right, Harlan. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. see you later. All right. You will, you, you do well because you are real. I, I think uh, O'Reilly's real too. If he wasn't, they wouldn't be suing him. <laughs> wow. At that point, it's time to turn.